Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Ayan Lovin and today I'm going to be reacting to how the universe is way bigger than you think. This is a real life lore video made possible by Squarespace. Make your next move with a beautiful website from Squarespace. This is Earth. You live here on this planet somewhere, and everything that you've ever known is located right here. But, just how small exactly is Earth when compared to the scale of the entire universe? Let's start by zooming out to where we can see our nearest cosmic neighbor, the Moon. You may think that the Moon is very close to Earth since it dominates our night skies, but in uh -huh. reality the Moon isn't this close to our planet, it's actually about this far away. Really? 184,400 kilometers away from you right now on average. You could fit 30 entire Earths in between this distance, and if you somehow were able to drive a car at a constant 100 kilometers per hour speed, it would take you about 160 days to drive the entire distance. Despite this incredible distance, however, 12 humans have actually set foot here, representing the furthest away that any individual human has ever been away from the Earth, and one of humanity's greatest achievements. This is what the Earth would look like from there if you were standing there with them, and if so you wanted to communicate pretty. with somebody back at home, it would take Earth a message so about beautiful. two and a half seconds to travel between you and them since that's how fast the speed of light can travel at. This is a photo that was taken on Mars, and that tiny dot that you see there is Earth as seen from the Martian surface. On average, Mars is an incredible 225 million kilometers away from Earth, but that distance can be as high as 401 million kilometers. That means that whenever humanity finally gets around to landing a human on the planet, that person uh -huh. will be 986 times further away from Earth than the astronauts who landed on the moon were. In addition, the time delay for sending a message from Mars back to Earth isn't just two and a half seconds, it's actually okay. more like 20 minutes each direction. Which wow, would render you see the instant difference. communication in the event of an emergency impossible. When we zoom out even further away, we can find the Voyager 1 space probe, which is the furthest away man made object from Earth. It is currently located 138 AUs from the Earth. AU meaning astronomical unit, which is the distance between the Earth and the Sun, which means that Voyager 1 is 138 times further away from us than the Sun is. At some How point did it get there? Long voyage, Voyager wow. 1 turned its camera around and took this photograph. It may not look like much at first, but in my opinion, this is the greatest single photograph ever taken in all of human history. This tiny, pale blue dot is Earth, and I don't think that anybody has ever said something as amazing about this as Carl Sagan when he said, If you look at it, you see a dot. That's here. That's Do you know, that tiny dot, where is it? Looks, is it me, but it looks kind of scary. Because we're so used to seeing Earth in, as a massive the sphere, blue, everything, I don't know, because we are a centre of our own world. So when we see, when I see the Earth so small, so insignificant, and I know that I'm even smaller and more insignificant compared in scale, it just kind of scares me. I don't know, I feel like it's like an irrational fear. Like, oh, like everything's so much bigger. Like, look, it's tiny, it's so tiny. Oh my god. Carl Sagan, when he said, if you look at it, you see a dot. That's here. That's home. That's us. On it, everyone you ever heard of, every human being who ever lived, lived out their lives. The aggregate of all our joys and sufferings. Thousands of confident religions, ideologies, and economic doctrines. Every hunter and every forager. Every hero and coward. Every creator and destroyer of civilizations. Every king and every peasant. Every young couple in love, every hopeful child, every mother and every father, every inventor and explorer, every teacher of morals, every corrupt politician, every superstar, every supreme leader, every saint and sinner in the history of our species lived there, on a moat of dust suspended in a sunbeam. Voyager 1 is currently traveling at 17 kilometers every single second, but even at that speed, it won't break out of the reach of our solar system for another 30,000 years. What the Once hell? we go beyond the solar system, we arrive in our interstellar neighborhood. Here we shift to the light year unit of measurement, which is the distance that light travels in a full Earth year, or about 9.461 trillion kilometers. 
The star Proxima Centauri here is the closest other star to us other than our Sun, but it's still 4.24 light years away from us. To put that into perspective, if it was heading in the right direction, it would still take Voyager 1 over 70,000 years to reach These it. These numbers in other just words, so crazy if you drove to me. Your car at 100 kilometers okay. an hour like in our previous example to the moon, it would take over 6 times longer than the entire age of the universe is just to finally get there, and it wouldn't even exist still when you arrived. When we zoom out even further, we can see the entire Milky Way galaxy, inside of which Earth is located right here. This yellow dot is the Where? first extent of humanity's radio broadcasts throughout history, which means that any possible aliens who live outside of this range are totally unaware of humanity's presence. It's complete silence outside of this yellow dot as far as we are currently aware, but the entire galaxy spans over 100,000 light years from end to end. There are over one. And that's just the galaxy. We're so tiny in, this, in the Milky Way galaxy, and Milky Way galaxy is probably so tiny. <laughs> <laughs> 100 so billion stars and over 100 billion planets inside of our galaxy. But you have never seen the full glory of the galaxy at night, because 99% of the stars that you can see with the naked eye are limited to this small, tiny region right here. But even this massive galaxy is nothing compared to the rest of what's out there. Zooming out even further and we arrive at the local group of galaxies, a collection of 54 different galaxies that is about 10 million light years across. But zooming out even further and we can see the Virgo supercluster, of which the local group here is just a tiny segment of. There are at least 100 other groups of galaxies just like our own local group inside of here, and the distance from one side to the other is a mind-numbing 110 million light years. But even the massive Virgo supercluster is nothing but a quiet and tiny lobe of the great Laniakea supercluster, an enormous structure that is home to our galaxy as well as 100,000 other galaxies. The distance from one side to the other is 520 light years, but from even Whoa. there we can zoom out all the way to the entire observable universe and see that even the titanic Laniakea supercluster is just a tiny and insignificant part oh of everything. God. This is the observable universe, and it contains everything that we know of. It is home to at least two trillion different and individual galaxies, which together contain more stars than there are grains of sand on the entire Earth. The distance from Earth to any side of the observable universe is 46.5 billion light years, which means that the entire width is 93 billion light years across. What's perhaps even more interesting, however, is what actually lies beyond the observable universe. Keep in mind that the observable universe is all that we can currently see, and it's entirely possible that the rest of the universe outside of it is vastly larger and more fantastic than we can possibly ever imagine. We simply don't know what else is out there, because the light from these incredibly distant places has not yet had enough time in the universe's history to reach us yet back on Earth, and the light from some places may never reach us at all. Because some parts of space very far away from Earth are expanding away from us faster than the speed of light, that means that the light from these places will never, in an infinite amount of time, reach Earth. Meaning that even if humanity is eternal and exists forever, there will still be an unknown number of places in the universe that we will never know about or ever see. So, it is very likely that as unbelievably enormous as it seems, the observable universe is just a tiny slice of what we can currently see of the entire universe. According to the theory of cosmic inflation that was proposed by Dr. Alan Guth, if it is assumed that cosmic inflation began at 10 to the negative 37th of a second after the Big Bang, and with the assumption that the size of the universe before inflation began was equal to its age times the speed of light, then this would seem to suggest that at the present day, the entire universe okay. is 150 sextillion times larger than the observable universe. That number for reference looks like this, with this many zeros. Let this number sink in for just a moment. This would be similar to you thinking that the entire observable universe, everything that you could see, is the size of a light bulb, but wow. then realizing that in reality the entire universe is larger than the former planet of Pluto. 
Imagine a light bulb in the center of Pluto, but we inside the light bulb were totally unaware that Pluto existed outside of it, and that's a similar situation to this. We are all so unbelievably small, but you shouldn't worry, because all that means is that there is so much left out there for us to discover together. This video was made possible by- That was such a nice video. It's kind of scared me because <laughs> just like I always feel like every time I see like these Musk Earth in 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 reference to scales of planets and the universe, we just look so tiny that it just scares me. I don't know why it's like an irrational fear or something, but it scares me. It just feels like we're so insignificant. Also, I always I always feel happy that I'm like alive in this day and age where we kind we know. The, what's out there, not all, what's, all, what's, all what's out there, but we know something that's out there in the universe, we're exploring, we're trying to find out, but I've always wanted to um, live in, um, or be born in the, like, a time where, like, let's say Star Trek, where, as in, 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 I can't say that word, interstellar, 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 <laughs> I cannot say that word. But anyway, travel. Um, I've always wanted to like travel around the universe and other quadrants and all these other things like Star Trek. And I always feel jealous every time I watch any episode of Star Trek that I'm not alive at a time like that. But yeah, feel sorry for me. So anyways, if you like um, this video, give this a thumbs up and see you next time. Goodbye.